are we on? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Let's make the phone check. Lights. Lights. Cameras. <laughs> this is Swanky. This is Lifestyle. This is Culture. Welcome to the social center of everything culture. Culture Daily. do it then today hmm. some people are saying that could hmm. you why didn't you wear a uh, yellow shirt in the video because you know red is danger so if you had worn a yellow shirt then you'd have calm heart down because that's the color of the sun and then you'd have been shining success you get it but sometimes too if you had also maybe if you wore green because you see the green in the ghana flag it's uh, uh what symbolic, is what? symbolic symbolic yes yeah, it's symbolic peace. you know and the red is danger red so it means he's at war with us uh, yes my brother why are you angry at us why are you, you see like i told you <laughs> i told you like the video said if we, if we shoot them with uh 7d oh okay yeah to reduce the quality small oh, okay. because when it's too then it, then it, it crisp, doesn't really fit it doesn't fit yeah, the yeah. moment of yeah. the wow they say they say you when you talk to me, nah, then you just put some cash by the side. <laughs> like, back it up. Like, I, I like all the ideas. Just, just back it up Yeah, with just cash. back it up with some cash so that I'll go and do everything for you and bring it to your house. I know, so right? Whatever you want to do with it, you, you do, do it. it. That's yeah. it. Yeah, I like that. You know, like, say, look, they say opinions. So everybody's got one, right? <laughs> yeah. It's like, no, sis. Everybody's got one. Mm-hmm. And, I mean, people will say over and over again, we are all even at fault um, with ideas and things and critiques and things we say about our creators. All of us are at fault. The wish list, the, you know, what we do, this do whether it feeds us, all of us. And words well said there by that jam you just listened to right now a few seconds ago. And the man in the studio is Koji Q. Koji, once again, welcome to the studio, man. Charlie, Charlie. You really said been, it all. You yeah. said it all. <laughs> I tried. So, I yeah, tried. You yeah, tried. Yeah, you tried. tried. What made you decide to want to go write these lyrics? Um, I've been I've been away for a bit, but I've been hearing like a lot of the conversation. I yeah. I watch I watch you guys a lot. Thank uh, you so much. I bro. watch you guys a lot. Mm-hmm. I watched the Shaker and Kevin thing. I was pretty. Yeah. Um, yeah. And I've been seeing him, you know, doing his thing, and then people will call you and I yeah, yeah show you screenshots and stuff and. Ole Sometimes le. I text him and then I tell him, oh, Ole le. I just keep going. I'm so sure. Sure. I, <laughs> I just decided to kind of weigh in on everything that's going on. Yeah. Uh, but do it in a musical form so people can, because people are usually more open and yeah. it's, it's something that people will be able to go back to every time. Mm-hmm. Instead of just come say it in an interview or tweet it and then everybody mm-hmm. says whatever mm-hmm. they're saying mm-hmm. and then they move on. Yeah. So for me, it's just... I am also kind of telling you guys that, hey, relax. Like, there's a lot going on at the crib that you don't know about, so, you know, yeah. We, we attack, um, we put on, our, on, our, all, on our, all our weight. I'm going to be a bit um, on the other side. We put all our weights mm-hmm. and hopes on the president, you know, from <laughs> whichever party it is. There's so much pressure on President yeah. Dram- Dramani Mahamad. There's pre- pressure on... That's different. Uh, I'm just saying, yeah. there's, um, the Black Stars are going to play a match. Mm-hmm. There's so much pressure on them. Mm-hmm. I mean, you can imagine the 31 million coaches the recent against yeah. uh, Central African mm-hmm. Republic. If if Kudus hadn't scored, mm-hmm. uh, I had questions. You know, we're saying, put Ayu in, take him out. Why is he he's too old? As someone trying to face all that. Musically, do you think the fans are being over demanding to the artists or we are they are putting the artists on their toes in comparison to what other people are doing globally? So uh I feel like the the two situations that you describe is not really like they are not equivalent to music. Okay. Presidents owe us that duty. We voted for them specifically to make our lives better. Right? Black stars also play in a sport where it's like for every game mm-hmm. you have to win. Music is a little different, right? My my problem is not even my problem is not even the fact that uh, you want this guy to win a Grammy or you want this guy to sell out the O2 mm-hmm. or whatever. I I think it's brilliant to to want that for them. I want you to also understand that if you if you the guy the fans that's be like, calling the fans are, <laughs> the fans are, are calling. Sorry, I, I, I have to put this one. No, that's yeah. fine. Oh, if the person wants to join the conversation, it's fine. I mean, yeah. we, can, we can patch the person through. <laughs> I I, I kind of also feel like I want people to understand that if you, the fan, you want Sack to play O2, 
what do you think Sark wants to do? If you are that hyped about him playing O2, you don't think the guy whose career it is wakes up every morning trying to figure out how, you know, to, get how to get there. You don't think he cares about it more than you do. That's number one. Mm-hmm. Number two, my main problem is it is actually stopping you people from just enjoying the music. Hmm. You understand? That's that's my major. You can you can have all the conversations that you want to have about how we can get here, as long as you enjoy the music. Where I have a problem is when people you know and a new album drops is fire. First listen or we now want to call Grammy, you know. Like, why has it become about all these extra metrics mm-hmm. as opposed to just the the person drop music? Is it a or day? Mm-hmm. Do you understand? Because and and even uh, to the level where now the achievements matter more than the music, mm-hmm. and they are using that to rate and oh oh boy oh, five hundred oh boy. <laughs> we bought the end the end, you know, you are not as I'm good saying, as them yeah. or you are, you understand. And I'm like, I don't How wake up in here? the morning ever thinking Daddy Lumba didn't play in front of, uh, didn't play Madison Square Garden. So all of a sudden, Ankwa Numa is not a nice song again. And Ankwa Numa win a Mokode Koji Grammy. I feel you it. understand what I'm mm-hmm. saying? So for me, that's that's the main thing. We've for the left fans, the point of enjoying the music. Yes. Now to seek validation, make comparison. All these extra things. Yeah. And I also want them to understand that we are we are aware about the things that we they think we need to get to as they are. We think about it maybe more than they do. And if we if we've not hit it, it's most of the time it has nothing to do with talent. Hmm. Most of the time, it has nothing to do with how, even how great the songs that we make are. So don't judge the songs just by how you feel. Like, just be a fan. If I drop something, just be a fan. If you don't like the music, you can tell me that. If you don't like the music on a quality basis or on how it feels to you basis, that you have a right to tell me. But don't say, oh, I won't even listen to this Kojo Q album because uh, Pitchfork didn't even... You know, could you know your high now or catch him? He's not even on pitchfork. Billboard cry, he's not on there. This is the guy that you want me to you understand. That's just that's just what I'm trying to get across. That's actually another side of the story that you, you shared. Um if I'm still to stand on the I'm just being playing the devil's advocate no, no, to good, standing good, on the yeah. on the fans side. Now, um taking away all these metrics in mm-hmm. terms of the stages they've played and all that, let's drill it down to the music yeah. that is being uh, produced. Yeah. Um naturally the the people would gravitate towards a song that they find it as nice. Mm-hmm. For whatever is in there, the elements that that's calling them for them to like the songs, and all of us will gravitate towards a song that is nice. Um, do you feel that there's also a certain missing gap of producing um, the kind of music that should take us to those world stages? Um, what, or, first of all, that's my my first or, question would be: What is the kind of music that should take you to? It drills down to things like production, um, you know, depth of knowledge of the music you're, you're, you're doing. I mean, so many things in there. So I, I ask again, you know, to the Ghanaian artists, to our, um, the levels that we've set, when you could, a Kojo Q goes into the mm-hmm. studio to produce music, what is, what is driving him to want to do it again and again and again, just to be sure that what is coming out is... Um, I do understand the process very well of producing music, and mm-hmm. I can no, I hit my hand oh, on my I chest yeah. and say that <laughs> after two or three verses, uh-huh. after three or three lines, boss it, it's ready to cook, let's drop it out there. Mm-hmm. That also is also playing a part in the kind of songs that is coming out, you know, hence us losing the, the, the global battle. But some creative songs are able to slice through, like, you know, you mentioned Blacko, and then it was in there, boom, the song came out, we liked it. Hey, you love it. The first, the first time when you heard it, mm-hmm. You just had to listen to it. The lyrics, who's never hands in the air, it mm-hmm. just had to hit you. Yeah. It, it, it came from a certain point where, I don't know, I mean, I, we haven't spoken to him to give us in-depth knowledge about that, but is there that's also, I mean, Bernard Boy mentioned it, is that, uh, that substance and essence also missing out in our music from some artists, no names mentioned, hence the reason why we are not getting that um, uh, forefront conversation that we're looking at. Uh, you think substance is a is a big part of why I, I, I'm asking. Okay, I I I, okay. I I I don't believe that. Okay, I don't okay. believe I don't believe it's a substance thing. 
I can understand the level of production. I can understand mm -hmm. the more technical things, uh, mastering, mixing. I can understand mm -hmm. making mm -hmm. an argument mm -hmm. for that. Mm -hmm. Even for those things, I will say, like I said in the song, mm -hmm. if you have the resources, mm -hmm. for example, the, the the Grammys that have become uh, the standard, the benchmark, the world right? standard. You yes. cannot win a Grammy if you don't have the resources to release music in America. It's okay. simple. Okay. If your music is not, that is why, even when we were not hearing about Rocky Dauni, mm -hmm. he was getting Grammy norms because he was on a label that were releasing his music for yeah. that market. Yeah, you can. It's it has nothing to do with oh this is the best song, song in the world yeah no this americans have done their award for americans occasionally they award people from outside, outside. Yeah. but they award the people from outside that they hear mm -hmm. you understand like you don't think there are like incredible musicians in tanzania mm -hmm. that have never been nominated for african artists at vgma before mm -hmm. we didn't hear them mm -hmm. you understand does that mean that the, the quality of music that they are doing is low mm -hmm. you understand so i I feel like we should separate the two. Mm -hmm. We should understand what is owing to a lack of resources mm -hmm. and the part that is a more uh, where we are lacking mm -hmm. a bit technically and mm -hmm. then we need to improve. But the reason I'm saying we, we need to understand that separation is that we are going to be disappointed again mm -hmm. when we spend all the time improving the mixing, the mastering and whatever. And you still don't get anywhere mm -hmm. because you do not have the resources to just push it. Great. Now, my question was strategic because I wanted to get us to a point. Yeah. Um, I'm glad you've mentioned these things. So, um, E.L. also mentioned that, mm -hmm. you know, he feels that we have, the, uh, if we give the other side of uh, the other musicians, and when mm -hmm. he said other, he meant, you know, that thousand one other musicians out there, if we put uh, focus on their music, mm -hmm. we could get Ghana to the point where we are, you know, we are hoping and wishing to, uh, to put it. What do you think about such? Is that do you think that's a true statement? I I don't think putting focus on any specific people takes you anywhere. I think what you should allow is diversity. You should allow people to make music from their hearts. You understand? You should allow people to make music as it comes to them, as opposed to now we are here talking so much about this is the type of music that will win us that all the kids that enter studios now all want to sound like this guy. All want to sound like that guy. And then it ends up just being clones that you're producing. You understand? So what we need to do is just allow Okay. For So, mm -hmm. Kojo has released brilliant rap music. Mm -hmm. Now, I've just listened to it. I'm getting goosebumps. Why isn't the song loved by others? Why aren't we... That's the question I'm asking myself. And this is self. Mm -hmm. Why isn't this... The, the talk about the talk about of today mm -hmm. if, if we hear you know old Koju songs yeah. like I, I don't I don't understand Simi blow ya nanya mi janet ya mi budget let me do a test Glyco I don't want to say but you could share you for like <laughs> but you just said it why 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 <laughs> do you, why do you know that <laughs> because you, you understand face, yeah. why if I say honey Kuchi, I kuchi. What is it? Kuchi, kuchi. Um, yeah, I, I, I circle to hey, it. Hey, baby, what's up? You understand? Like, why do you know these things? Yeah, because, I mean, it's been in my face. It's been well advertised and promoted. You understand? People Smart. can do adverts, and you see it so much that you can recite mm -hmm. the adverts. Whether it's nice or not. It doesn't matter. Smart You've seen it so much. Because there's, there's money behind it. They have enough money to say, j every time you people oh, come here and you talk two minutes... Play my song. It becomes the song of the day. You understand what I'm saying? So, the first part is missing. How can I blame people for not liking my music if I don't even have the resources to put it in front of them enough times? Do you understand? Mm. They just like, people just haven't, oh, that could you, I haven't heard it. Right? I haven't heard it. Mm -hmm. um, when when um, I made, uh, what do they call it? When me and Sheka made Mama Ye, right? It traveled farther than most of the songs that we've made. And people will pick on that and say, ah, when, um, it traveled, <laughs> it only traveled far because we gave that song to Diasa and Diasa used it for their show. Every time Diasa was on air. Wow. 
Mama Ye was on air. Wow. Mm. Every single time. So people didn't even know who was behind the music. They just know, knew Mama the song Ye. as that song Mama from Ye. the Asada, Mama Ye, Mama Ye. And it just kept moving. You understand? Mm-hmm. And because it was also, as compared to some of our other songs, it's music that was made for the dance floor. Now it will move from there to the dance floor. And when people go out to dance, they will hear it again. <coughs> you, you understand what I'm saying? And I think you've answered my questions brilliantly. I, I applaud you for that because it, down, it then also boils down back to the machinery and the funding behind there to, to, to push. But for the machinery and the funding to come, it also boils down on interest and profitability of the business. Yeah. And for the profitability of the business to also work, it means a businessman needs to see yeah. that this is something that would work. Have we convinced the businessman, the investor, well enough to to decide that you know what if i take money and i put into kojo this i can get it back that's an ultimate the, question that i also put out to us that is one of the parts i feel we have really like regressed because um i grew up on big ben alex the boat you know yeah. people that will well, that will take lord kenya's music and give them a bag and then be mm-hmm. out here promoting it because they want to make money back but i think that kind of died down as music if piracy I, and whatever oh. came and people didn't have to buy cassettes anymore so it didn't make any more sense now we are in the streaming era so it kind of makes sense again but that is the that is the one part that i will i will say um the artists because we get all the we get all the all the flag because we are the face but usually all these things that you people blame us for it really is the job of the team the artist is just supposed to make music Right. I'm not. I'm not my manager. I'm not the ch- one in charge of marketing. You understand? Mm-hmm. My team are supposed to market. Mm-hmm. Yes, my team are supposed to put stuff together and try and find funding for me. I, yeah. I'm not in the studio working on mixing, mastering, doing rehearsals to give you great shows, writing the music, going to look for the investors myself, showing them my books, doing my own digital. Ma- Do you understand what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So uh, that's that is the part that we have kind of regressed a bit Rest, yeah. but it still comes back down to when, that's why I use resources mm-hmm. and I didn't uh, straight out say money mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. there are not even enough people around that are genuinely interested in becoming music execs hmm. there are people that see oh Jay Foley is popping if I follow him I'll probably get into that show I get into this show whatever there are people that you grew up with that because you're doing they want to help you and they follow you but the problem is most of the time some of them because it's not something that like they they've dreamt about since they were young they're not even looking at how to improve themselves as a manager how to improve himself as your social the media artist is doing well trying to create good music learning the on you know and but you the, the the businessmen yeah. around it are not improving the, the, their skill the, the, they are also not in, you understand improving, they, yeah. they are not improving their skill um, they don't have even people to learn from. There are not enough, you know, mentors around that will say, oh, we used to do it like this back in our day. You know, I can't even go and follow Okay Kumante around to pick up on an, all the knowledge that he used to build slip music. There's that. I can't, people are not like, uh, I am not offering up internship positions for kids that are interested to even just follow me around and see, you know, what, what's, what's going on because maybe I'm not generating enough to have beyond that's my one manager. So if that's my one manager isn't as interested in improving himself, then we are stuck. Then when we find one thing that works, that feeds us and feeds our family, then that is what we are doing. <laughs> and we just do it. And I want to go global, but if I get 10,000 CDs out of the music and I put all the 10,000 c- CDs back in the music, na ma me swear. You understand? So, w- you have to think about all of these things. Then, on top of that, we have created a competition with a group of people that economically we just cannot compete with. People talk about the, people talk about the population thing, right? And we try to make light of it. But let me, let me speak about it this way. Imagine that we both sell rice. Where I sell rice, there are only 10 people. Where you sell rice, there are a thousand people, right? Let's say all the ten people in my area 
buy my rice. But only 10% of the people in your area buy your rice. Right? You are still making more revenue than I am doing. Regardless. But we are selling the same rice. Unfortunately, it's not even... Uh, music is not like rice where I can price my rice differently to try and match up to you. When YouTube are paying them, they pay them the same thing they pay us. To get a million streams for them is... You understand? To get a million YouTube views for them is like that. For us, even the big ones struggle. To get a million. You understand? So now, this guy that is in... It's also in a, in, a, in a place where things are relatively... Cost of living is relatively lower than... Because the currency is mm -hmm. like some way. If you see what 600 Naira will buy and you convert it to Ghana, you're like, ah, what is happening here? Mm -hmm. So this guy now, we both drop 1 million views. YouTube has given him his bag. I'm struggling to hit 100,000. It's not the same bag. He takes this bag goes to make himself even look better as an artist than me because, hey, a CR view over here is over 200K. A CR view over there is probably like half the price. He's put himself in that. He's put himself in it. He has the look. He's generated enough money to now leave his house, come to my house, and come and throw his weight around. And that throwing of his weight around also makes the people in my house start to feel like I am not serious enough. Yeah. Because they live... Jay, I have been coming to you since 2005. Play my music, play my music, play my music. We don't play... Uh... You, you are playing it. You've been playing it. You've seen that you've been playing it and you've seen that my numbers are going up, my numbers are going up. I have never come to you to say, Jay, here's uh, a MacBook. <clears throat> Jay, here's this, here's that. <clears throat> because even though, even though you are seeing the growth... The back end might not look like what you're seeing. Mm -hmm. But I have to keep up the appearances. So I'm also on Instagram showing that, yeah, I'm really doing... <laughs> like we said, you look past your side. <laughs> you understand? Yeah, you understand? I'm really, doing, I'm really doing what you think I am doing. But I'm not really doing it. Then my guy from the other side comes, sees you the first time, gives you his music, even tips you the first time he's meeting, he tips you something small. Goes, comes back the second time. Oh, three MacBooks. The music that you're playing, the machine that you're playing the music from, he bought it for you. How can I compete with that? You understand what I'm yeah. saying? How can I, and how can I expect you to do me more favors than you're doing him? Mm -hmm. You understand? It's not, it's, not, uh, it's not because you're a wicked person. We, we all have to also, so at the end of the day, could you, how, nice how do we how do we then capitalize? This is a, a post from Kelly uh, Kelly Mensa, who's mm -hmm. also you know um, yeah yeah, I've, yeah I've and, seen and, Kelly, and, uh, yeah. a pundit. Now Kelly mentions that uh, it's about time we Ghanaian artists start looking at the uh, you know amassing support from the other countries that look to us, yes. like the Liberia, Sierra Leone, Gabons, and Co. How do we capitalize on those numbers to I, to make us? I, I this, this, is a, this is a very selfish conversation that we are having. I beg your pardon, uh, viewers, <laughs> please. But we want to be rich, so we are talking <laughs> about how we can teach others to be rich. Mm. <laughs> how do we tap into that to, you know, to make it work for us? If I'm, we can't... I, I'm not going to sit here and say I have all the answers. Yes, please. Maybe I am... Maybe because I've, I've done a lot more back-end work, mm -hmm. I have more knowledge than your average artist. Mm -hmm. But I, at the end of the day, I'm still an artist. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You understand? The, the first... The first, my first duty is to make the music. Music, yeah. If I if I spend all my time doing this, I probably never make music for you. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. So I won't I won't tell you that I have the answers, but I like what he said when he said, "Why are we so focused on the market that won't even allow you in in their in their marketplace if you don't attach yourself to one of them when there are other people that want us to come." Mm -hmm. Do you understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Why is it so important to you that you go and play in uh, in front of uh, 500 people in Saskatchewan when there are 5,000 people waiting for you in Gabon? Do you understand? Why is it so important to you that they are playing your music on Niger radio when they already play your music on Liberian radio? 
Okay, um, Kojo, how do you think that you can navigate the ecosystem, right? Because with the 001, I can tell that a lot of thoughts went into making it, right? And then as well, aside, you know, your navigation of the ecosystem, just to make sure that, you know, you're still um, on top of your game, still churning out the music you love to churn out, would you think there will come a time that with the knowledge you have amassed, you would want to now take a step back and help other musicians also achieve or attain a certain level of success that um, probably you you were not able to um, during your time as a musician. I already do that. Okay. I'm I'm just not. I'm just like not on on radio or on social media mm-hmm. talking about mm-hmm. it every day. You understand? And That's nice. It's it's time that those of us who are always talking about how things need to be done start trying to prove it Mm. you understand like personally i'm a little tired of coming to city and tell you we need to do this we need to do that we need i'd much rather find the resources take somebody do it so that you can see that i have done it Mm. If, if if enough of us do it everybody will follow suit Mm-hmm. You understand? Yeah. If if enough of us do it, if if we are if we are organizing <coughs> enough, uh, what do they call it? Uh, classes for people that are interested in music business to come and learn and come and help, whatever. If we are uh, reaching out to younger artists that are coming out, and we can see that they have potential, and helping guide their team, helping them grow. You understand? Mm-hmm. I in 2020 during the pandemic. Me and three other friends, mm-hmm. we formed a, a music marketing company called Rain Labs. Called what? Rain Labs. Okay. And because oh, we all had... With Trebler? Yeah, with Trebler, uh, Benewa, and oh. Mikey. Because we all had the desire to help, and we had knowledge that we felt that we could give. And the first two things we did was we went to two of our friends. We went to Kidi. Kitty had the blue EP at, th- at that time. Mm-hmm. You went to Lynx and said, look, we can help you market this thing better. We can drop the whole strategy, do that, blah, blah, blah. We did it. Helped out over there. Beautiful rollout. We did the same thing for Joey's Lava Fields. We did that for Jackie's EP that had forever on it. Hmm. Mm-hmm. You understand what I'm mm-hmm. saying? So it's about time that more of us start doing this yeah on the back end like me i've resigned myself to the fact that i may never be as big as people think i should be but on god before i leave here i am going to help somebody be that big Mm. that is me you understand cut i hope we pick this part of the of what he just said and let us amplify this this is beyond this should be on your um unpacking this should be on your training line this so should this be one, on is it, is it rocking on or rolling out this this he's <coughs> rocking on rolling or he's, you know, like, no that's that's let me, this like is, let me give you an example right we were we were a group of young creatives sitting in kumasa struggling trying to figure out how to make out, it out yeah. of that place out of I'll say out of everybody there, maybe I was the one that had a little music business, whatever that I was mm-hmm. using to but it wasn't it still wasn't anywhere. You know where we got our help from? Who? You. You picked Lucica. You changed our lives. Oh Lucica. You didn't even realize that. No, I didn't. Could you I want to cry? <laughs> <laughs> you understand? You you saw Lucica, you picked her up and started Yeah. You understand? Because you understood the business better. So it wasn't that if if you never came in, we would have spent a lot of time thinking that Lucica's music is not good enough or Radio just doesn't want to help us. Charlie, you understand? When French we just artists in Kumasi, man, it didn't even make sense. You understand what I'm saying? But you came in, you did that. It raised our profile so much that we also got a Timpai. And I think you were involved in that as well. Oh, he's in town. Big shout out to Timpai. He just dropped in town. Charlie, what's yeah, yeah, about yeah, you? Yeah, you yeah, understand? Yeah. We also got a Timpai. You got involved in that. DJ Abrantia got involved in that. Mm-hmm. That song was on radio in London before any of the other yeah, songs were still on big radio. in London, actually. Yeah. Still big you understand? Before any of that, why? Is that song, is that song better than all the songs that mm-hmm. we have made at 
Q. I know, right? Do you understand what I'm saying? It's not better than No, it's not. It's not. It's not the best song ever that even Etumpai has made. Mm -hmm. But it got the right people to help with the right resources to put it in the right mm -hmm. places, and it did what it did. Mm -hmm. You understand? So more of that needs to happen. But. Uh -huh. You have really opened the conversation about this music business side. You know, um, I, I take that back to, and I, I want to buy a cane and hit cane <laughs> ourselves. Oh, Cyril, I haven't spoken today. Oh, my brother, I'm very, very sorry. Oh, uh, meet Cyril. Uh, <laughs> this guy. Yes. This guy. He, he's oh. a huge distant star. Star. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, when you when when you told me what you were discussing today, I knew it came from yes. you. Yeah, yes. he, yeah. we've had this conversation already. Ah, uh, sitting in my house. Oh, that's why you're quiet. That's why it's quiet yeah, like that. The guy. Yeah, no, no. Now, yeah. see, Sakoda said something. Sorry, Sakoda yeah. said something. Remember, we we bashed him heavy for it, and mm -hmm. when, when he said that, it's about time that we, you know, on the media platforms as well, also grow mm -hmm. and get to the mm -hmm. BBC and mm -hmm. co. And it was very true that not necessarily BBC as we want to go to BBC, mm -hmm. but also grow our craft. You know, where do we find ourselves making international influence with the uh, things let me, we do? Let me give you this. Analogy, we also guys. have to be blamed. Let me give you this analogy. What is being done to the artists now? Yeah, it's like me calling in every morning to the show mm -hmm. to say. Jay Foley, why are you guys not streaming on Hulu? You guys are not working. Mm -hmm. like, why are you not on Netflix? You why are you not on Netflix? <clears throat> you guys don't work. I don't, like, maybe I started off as a fan. Oh, I enjoyed the show. I enjoyed the show but now, for a whole year. Then the next year, every day, you guys, and then, 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 then mm, this show, you are every day, you are talking over here, and it's just that's Instagram. That's it doesn't that's really that's awesome. you're, you're only getting 2,000 views. Yeah. How can you, can't you see how the Nigerians are doing? That's essentially what we are doing, you're doing to us. Mm hmm and the problem that it has created whether or not you've noticed is now the artists are scared to put out the music because they know you judge them by more than how good the music is mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. see serial knows we are always recording i end up in this house we have I, mean, I think we have enough music to make at least two an projects album. Yeah. No, at least two projects bro <laughs> you know so like mm -hmm. i end up over here we are always recording but the problem is now the artist knows that if he puts it out and he doesn't get number one on Apple Music, so and he's not, anxiety. he doesn't have a hundred thousand views in the first two hours. <laughs> hey, see some music you people are doing. Mm -hmm. How can you go? So he's there until mm -hmm. he's able to gather some small money, put it into that one record, and that may not be the record, and then it becomes another. Then you are there. Then <coughs> then you we spent a whole eight nine months. How many how many Ghanaian artists have put out like projects this year? <laughs> error, error, yeah, error. Like, then by the time you get to December, you don't only have why. you are complaining that they are only playing like foreign music. music at the jams because we didn't even make enough music to like we didn't even put out enough, enough music, music to even compete. Because we are scared that you will say that we didn't get a hundred thousand views. When what we should be concerned about is whether the music demand or not. Mm. I'm 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 really not going to talk much today because he, everything he's saying is <laughs> what I'm. I'm just going to parrot what he will say. So, make could you fire? The only <clears throat> submission I want to make is in every industry on this planet, without an active and conscious consumer base, the industry will not survive. Telco needs its consumer base. Fast-moving consumer goods, your tea, whatever, toilet roll, needs a consumer oh, base. <laughs> Everything needs a <laughs> consumer base. Even luxury products, which are sold very, very sparsely once in a while, needs a consumer base. If our fans don't get off their high horse of entitlement, disrespect, ridicule, and neglect for our creative arts, the whole industry will come crashing. It starts and ends with the fans, with the damn fans. We need to cut it out. And I'm talking from a place of head and a place of experience and a place of being front and center of that. So this is not Serial on Culture Daily. Serial MC. It, it, it's, it's unacceptable because the investor is not going to invest in an industry that lacks a consumer base. Why will he put 100,000 in Kojo's music 
if every time Kojo puts out music, the response is negative. Mm -hmm. Which video director would be able to collaborate with Kojo and accept that, okay, instead of 10K, bring 7, make we do one because blah, 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 blah. When the consumer base is taking a dump on his work, our fans are too entitled. We are too entitled. We can sing Yoruba. We know Bennett's lyrics in and out. We they sing along to Wiz and David like we from Niger. But you don't want to listen to Eden. <laughs> we they turn out. Is it mental? Is it self-hate? Hmm. Is it imposter syndrome? Is it lack of an identity? What is it? Hmm. How do we do that to ourselves? People Standing across this in country... In the washroom with the LED lights. Listen. When, snapping and singing a song like... When, you know, my heart broke. When Kendrick Lamar, when Spotify brought Kendrick here, and I saw the response, the blogs, the music community, and the fans. Oh my God, Kendrick did town. I hear say the and I was like, ah, is this not the same rap you people say you don't want to listen to? You, 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 you know Compton. You know where you know where Kendrick from. <laughs> if I gave you a map, you Ghanaian fans, if I gave you a map. That point to me where Kendrick Lamar was from, <laughs> where he reps. You go feel tell me. You don't know anything about these people, but you are willing to love them, propel them, and fuel them to become billionaires the and dictators. Best, the, other guy where you can buy but, uh, uh, the one way where the t-shirts go there, this Mick thing. Mew. It's a t-shirt. Uh, uh, you, you understand? You are willing to bend over backwards to kiss your own backside for these people. And then we who are actively in your face. From your hood, who went to school with you, who eats the gobe with you, who understand your culture, your context, your tradition, your emotions. Emotion. When we put out, you disrespect us, ridicule us, and then to the point where when your negative effects have taken a toll on the artist, you go ahead further to now say that Asumesi has fallen off. Asumesi couldn't stand the heat. This person couldn't do that. I could stand here and list the amount of A-list rap artists. That I know who turn their back not only on Ghana music but on Ghana because bro are they like where are all our friends ask Kojo where all his friends are <laughs> when we used to be either we had mixed down or we had BBNZ Star ask him where all the boys are <laughs> Stargo Gemini where's Joey B ask where all the boys are because we hate to see this thing happening for the Ghanaian, for the Ghanaian. but let some black American come and do it Woo! go and bring somebody who they rap from SA wow Make MI come land right now, say MI they stay a uh, holiday in or oh, go to no, tulip. Oh, oh everybody, oh MI come town. I know, right? But when Kojo came from Kumasi to Akra, nobody Ko ran to Kumasi, Kojo. Oh, <laughs> that'll be the mentality. Mm -hmm. So that is my only submission here. Nothing. Nothing. And I'm saying this. Listen, it's the principle of economics. Without a consumer base, nothing will thrive. They say prostitution is decadent to society. But prostitution has been as old as time because of a consumer base. <laughs> <laughs> if prostitution and drug abuse and corruption and everything didn't have a consumer base, <laughs> all those <laughs> things would not exist. So why are you pushing me? me I'm laughing. The uh, fans. Camera, I don't know about why. You, it starts with the fans. About pornography and it, it, listen, <laughs> it starts with the fans. Only if the boy just got his deal. Yeah. Why did he get his deal? Because the numbers made sense. Because there were fans. So only if the boy is not an award-winning artist. He's not been in the game for 10 years and made a mark. Mm -hmm. He doesn't have any link. I, I don't know his travel history, but I don't think Oliver has gone to America before. Right? Mm -hmm. But only if the boy got access to Sony. And Sony said, here's a check. We want to push you. Why? Because of consumer base. Mm -hmm. We cannot all sing and dance. Some of us are here to perpetuate our culture and our tradition through the lyrics. So that when you listen to it in hindsight, you can remember a time and feel an emotion. Mm -hmm. That is what rap is about. It's about storytelling. We've been dancing since independence. Mm -hmm. And the fans are the ones who have run good mm -hmm. music into the ground. We killed Azunto. We killed hip-hop. We buried GH rap and whatever other uh, uh, derivatives were formed. Oh, oh, and yeah. all the talents that followed after this are now mute. Mm -hmm. Because the first point of contact for an artist is your fans. It's not the label that gave you money. Mm -hmm. The label can give you money. Go produce with the best producer. Release some make we see. Still. 
They give you the best video. Mm -hmm. Drop him a quizzy. In Kojo, they talk. Mm -hmm. If you like Mr. Evening, Spielberg come shoot your video for you. If you be Ghana rapper, you go sweat before you get 100k. <laughs> you go explain tire. You go explain tire. Why? <laughs> Why? Make us make us something. Why were? And I'm not taking the stance for for the fans, but I'm also trying to get into the mind of the consumers. Why were we seen as a big deal to have our video shot in South Africa back in the day? Because it validated quality. Exactly. Yes. So and it also fans, validated... So the fans are being exposed to some aspiration. No, really. No, I'm it, coming. Uh, no, finish, finish. <laughs> no, I got, got you. No problem. Finish. <laughs> you hit oh, sorry. He's from Atlanta, Georgia. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> no, I, I got you. No, no, go. What you're saying is true, but I'm also saying that yeah, yeah, yeah. we as media mm -hmm. need to take much of the blame. Because what we expose the fans to as aspirational is what has killed the Ghanaian identity. Growing up, we watch Cartoon Network. At the same time, we watch By the Fireside. At the same time, we are watching Zingaro. What is it? To we date, those of us who grew up on Zingaro cartoons or Zingaro tunes remember Akolao Coin. In fact, when you see somebody with the head, immediately you think about the Zingaro guy. I, I Shout out to Kojo Sheldon. Shout out to you. About to say, you yeah, to call him out. Do you get what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. even though there were foreign content, we had enough you know, local content that was being driven by the media to the average Ghanaian. The last time I was in my research, I noticed that things like concert party, cantata, akan drama, were some of the vehicles that actually drove locally um, indigenous, local indigenous music from Ghana. Mm -hmm. Because you are watching this every day on Prime TV and they are singing songs from the Pabubu, the Amachi Didis and whatnot. Concert party, they don't even want to go there because they were performing songs. The culture dance groups were performing some of these songs over there. Mm -hmm. So you go you go to see a concert party, all right. Mm -hmm. But by the time you leave, you you are singing, it's like an ear infect. Yeah, you, you are singing the songs without knowing. But as we evolved or as we decided to become yeah, more like I just said, we use urban simple tools that very we very simple tools to constantly promote what was ours very, look, without if, you know even even in school some of them blinded some of the, by what was foreign. Even in school do you know why Jama is still a big thing and why anytime you, you lift a Jama song it is it is the only thing that holds Jama is football. And because we're having now, things yeah. like Itako and stuff like that, yeah. the kids were always singing <coughs> um, Ghanaian songs. The whole week so all, yeah. it's yeah, really? I, I understand. I understand where you're coming from, and I would equally bash the consumer. But I also think that at some point in time, we, we need to go to the basics. No. We need to go to the tools, no. or maybe perhaps reinvent you in the wheel and inculcate it into contemporary, uh, what you call it, positions that will allow the new Ghanaian. When I say the new Ghanaian, the one just. Go, I'll be, I'll be uh, let me your mind on. <laughs> let I, me know I, that I, you actually, I actually love to chip in here, right? Yeah. So, me as an. as an artist or as the one that's selling the product. Mm -hmm. The one thing I try not to do is put too much on the consumer and what they need to do, right? Mm -hmm. For the fans, the only thing I really need from fans is to stop so hard, stop trying too hard to be music critics and music business ex experts and just listen to the music. Yes, when we are don't have... Yeah, whether you, you like it yeah. or not. Exactly. I, don't don't come and tell me that eh, you need to market this way. That, that, that. Trust me, there are more. I know more people that know more about music business marketing yeah, nah, than yeah. you do. Yeah, you understand. You just hear Olele some, say something on radio, pick a word, and then you are running with it. And then the next thing is, eh, you artists need to check out what your rollout. Your rollout. Your, you don't even know what the rollout is. <laughs> you have no idea what the rollout is. Mm -hmm. You understand. So for me, when it comes to the fans, just if I drop and you don't like it, you don't like it for whatever reason, just keep it moving. Don't stop yourself your type from of music. Yeah. Yes, don't stop yourself from from liking the music because you think that it is not music that will put me here, or because you think that I couldn't get a billboard in Times Square, or that is being very unfair to me, the creator. Yeah. While at the same time trying to make me. Uh, level up to some other people but uh what i wanted to add was it's i think it's exposure that killed us mm. because when we started seeing other things that we could compare our things to we started gravitating towards those could you let me jump in i disagree there's nothing wrong with exposure when in my book mm -hmm. when you allow exposure your book <coughs> yeah 
I am not even. No, I'm not, I am, no, I am not saying. I am not saying there's something wrong with exposure. No, no, I'm saying that yeah. exposure is not the problem, or, or what's not the problem. The problem is not exposure because exposure is the only way you have something to contrast your situation with, right? If you are not exposed to how this thing can be done better, you might remain in your mediocrity not and good. not thrive. But our problem is that once we are exposed, we Forget. tend, we relegate who we are, and whether it's jealousy or envy or greed, one of the three, we will die for that other thing over what we had two seconds ago. And it is systemic. It is from the root of the Ghanaian. We import more foes, more used clothes than we produce and sell here. We import garbage. Those old bicycles, you see them in traffic on three tracks. Mm -hmm. Hospital mattresses from asylums and from... We love the baller because the baller is from where? It's an entertainment show. <laughs> no problem. Year. Next year. The, 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 the baller is from where? It's, it's from Abroche. Yeah. So that has systematically become what is here. But do you think so it applies to I'm our film. Hold, hold so listen. No, just, just hold that thought for a second. But do you think if earlier mm. the conversation about Obroni mm -hmm. right, mm -hmm. there was some form of education mm -hmm. that this is indeed rejected clothes or shall I say uh, or perhaps there's a documentary on our TV stations or whatever that the clothes that are coming here are garbage. Do you think that the Ghanaian would immediately run towards that direction? Yes, we it's, know we know so, it's garbage, but that's why no listen, we know it's garbage. That's why people go to come to the is how was ah. it so the conversation sometimes Bro. is how was the exposure done? Only Chica, if the exposure is done in a way to make it look good. Only if you're talking about do, 2023 or so, 2022. No, no, no. I'm just, no, I'm just, no. And <laughs> see, you have a point, too. I'm just saying that in as much as we think these factors may not play a role, I also think approaches are definitely part of the thing that you need to consider. Because if you come and sell something, to, why, why are people scammed? Let me people tell you. People are not scammed because they're not intelligent. Too. People Lee, are scammed because they're giving things. That's why I mentioned things. three things. That's why I mentioned three things. Okay? It takes strong will to see something. Eh? Mm -hmm. to be exposed to better and not feel some cognitive dissonance some mm, it's, it takes a lot of discipline to to know that it's okay to see that jfoli go by me back it doesn't need to turn to my problem that my c class in ta fully me back so now all of a sudden my c class is redundant mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. do you understand it takes discipline do you, do you it's, it? it's okay and to as say a that nation, since God has done it for Jay Foley, he can also do it for me. There's nothing wrong with it. There's nothing wrong with it, but we don't end there. We don't end there because when Kojo pulls up at my house after Foley and he comes with an E-class, I'm not going to celebrate Kojo's E-class. Hey, it will be cool, Mumba High, but if I see Foley, yeah. that's the Ghanaian. That is what we have become about food, fashion, film. When our cinema was popping, we were not watching telenovelas on TV when our cinema was popping. You go and watch it and that's all you saw. When Orion Cinema and the rest were popping, even when they brought foreign films, it's not like you can go and turn on your TV and you have a barrage of them feeding your brain 24 7. We have a lot of them like the way we have now. So, in, so to Kojo's point, mm -hmm. the exposure was very limited, right? So it controlled the rate at which we decayed, right? <laughs> but to be grossly exposed, <laughs> do you understand what I'm saying? To be grossly exposed. The rate of decay. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we, listen, bro, we, we've spoiling. lost. We've lost we everything. Sport, yeah, but no, the rate was yeah, slowed down. Yeah. The, the rate was slow. The rate was slowed down because mm -hmm. of exposure. But the exposure is not the problem because exposure is inevitable. As the world develops, it will catch up with yeah. you. Happen, yeah. You understand? Even people, uh, societies that were not uh, uh, discovered fifty years ago are now discovered and have portable water. Time. So it will catch up with you. But what will you do with it when it catches up with you? That's mm -hmm. when the culture and the, why? Who is more exposed than Japan? Japanese are shopping with AI, doing all sorts of things. But Japanese culture because has not... Laws, because their laws work. That's what I'm saying. But Japanese culture has, has not been diluted with is. one drop yeah. of water. Yeah, that's because the laws protect the Japanese culture. Bro, Here, our sweetheart. laws don't... We don't even have sweetheart. a culture policy that protects our culture. Sweetheart. For music... For music... For music... To his point, yeah. yes, exposure was a problem yeah. because when the exposure happened, instead of using the exposure as a learning platform, we used it as a competitive, competitive platform. Yeah. Yeah. And that was the beginning and the end 
of exposure helping us as a people. And that is where his point That's also where comes coming from. Because the people that spearheaded that were the media. Yes, but you see, we, we, you, we cannot, you, can, you, cannot blame, you cannot blame a capitalist institution <laughs> for making money. The media, they, they we are, are all here speaking this big English, yeah. but at the end of the day, if we are not making money, there's then no quarter daily tomorrow. But then, but, then we should stop but, complaining. You see, but then, <laughs> but then what, what actually happens in the long run is, because whether we realize it or not, it's an ecosystem. We're all dependent on each other. Yeah. So what happens in the long run is you end up in a space where maybe when you started, you started taking my food out of my mm. mouth, but you end up in a space where Straight now having a radio station is not as profitable anymore. Yes. Yeah. Now being an events promoter is not as profitable. What is anymore. the most important linchpin? What is the most important element in the ecosystem of media? The consumer. Mm. Radio, TV, musician, rapper, dancer, blah, 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 blah. Without the same, and the consumers are not exclusive individual. The same person who likes culture daily, mm -hmm. likes music, yeah. watches a film, likes Dance God Lloyd, yeah. blah, blah, blah. So it's the same individual yeah. that we are all serving. Mm -hmm. You understand? And once we move that individual from the situation, we are all redundant. Yeah. You get yes. it? So the ultimate decision as to what to consume, how to prom how to support and how much of the thing to consume mm -hmm. still falls on the consumer. Yeah, because because guess what? There are yeah. channels I don't listen to uh, gospel uh, radio, right? If I want to listen to that kind of music, I'm, I have jo uh, Josh Groban and things that I can play and, and relax. You understand why I go on YouTube. I cannot mention one gospel radio station for you. I'm not their consumer. I'm not in that ecosystem. You understand? And like Ojo is saying, I have not gone to sit anywhere to bash gospel music. Yeah. <laughs> it's not my cup of tea. Right, but people reach out beyond their pervy that you turned on your radio and Kojoki was playing. Um, listen to the one you want to hear, but to leave it on Kojo and now turn yourself into a music critic and go on your Facebook and now go in naked Kojo A to Z. That is that is where the whether it's greed, envy, or jealousy, or whatever to listen to two or three of his songs ever. Ever, this Kojoki guy, Seth, that's the tweet, but you don't know how that affects. You, you understand? And let me tell you something. Every artist, they, they Google and search themselves. Yeah. <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. As a creator, you want to know that there's a response to, to what you are yeah. doing. And imagine when you go and you go and type your name and random people somewhere in the world, right, have these strong opinions about you and your art. What is the encouragement? Yeah, and and, and, and okay. to me, I also, Please, I also right. feel like um, with when it comes to the consumers and the fans, we can't totally take them out of the equation because until they say that, okay, they are accepting everything we do regardless of the artists, of the music, now we are not going to have that Ghana-Nigeria conversation anymore because guess what? Even Portable from Nigeria is really famous. Why? Because the consumers are accepting or have accepted him and are supporting him fully. So we can't we can't exactly take it take them out of the conversation. Like I always say, it is an ecosystem. Um, I say this all the time. Yeah. And we also as fans or as music um, consumers or as even entertainment consumers or consumers of the arts, we have to make it a conscious effort. Until then, we are not going to stop having the Ghana-Nigeria conversation or we are not going to stop pitching Ghana against Nigeria where we say that they are making it or they are hitting it on all fronts of the arts. That's including fashion and even arts, music, um, entertainment, movies, all of that. We are not going to. So, as the fans, what I will... I will entreat us to do is run the numbers up. If you're not running the numbers up, you don't expect them to compete with other people. If you're not running the numbers up, you don't expect the algorithm to focus on this person and say, oh, um, Kojoki released a song maybe two, three days ago. His numbers have shot up 200K or maybe they are on um, the YouTube YouTube's list of maybe top two most viewed in Ghana. So by that extension, they are going to be introduced to people outside the Ghana market and then outside the Africa market. And then maybe a big label is going to find the person and that is how that person's breakthrough is also going to come. So I think that hold we should also do better as right, like fans so and consumers and all of that. Awesome, awesome. Uh, could you lots of comments here. I wish I could have read all of them. But let me shout out to some people who are watching us live on our stream to Ohene Afrane uh, good morning to you to Kweku Chris Survivor to Eddie Eddie to Dangbe Nobi I see all of you to Dre Agboli uh, says Cyril I feel your head <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Ras King, I see all of you as well. Uh, could you please, our time is up, but let, let me just touch on this real quickly. Mm-hmm. Just about catching up with what you've been up to, you know, uh, now. Oh, yeah. Um, I've enjoyed the conversation so much that I, I, I've i forgotten to talk about the music. Yes. Yeah. 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 So um, I've been, I took some time off, mm-hmm. uh, generally off of music. I think I maybe I took maybe two years off of, wow. off of like producing music. I've been working more in the background, like mm-hmm. I said, with Rain Labs. Um, That's how it makes more sense, huh? It's not even a, I, I, I'll be honest with you, it's not even a money thing for me passion yeah it's 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 more of how can i help, help this thing grow because whether we like it or not everything has to make sense mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you understand i like i like when she keeps saying ecosystem ecosystem because really that's what we need to start looking mm-hmm. at ourselves as i eat you eat everybody you understand we we have to start realizing that when i make the music and you play it and dance god uses it on his Instagram that ultimately if we do enough of that the consumer is going to buy into it. Yeah. You understand that mm-hmm. ultimately if we mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. intentionally do enough of that the consumer is going to like Do you have any new projects coming up? After yeah, I have a, yeah, yeah, I have a I mean, I know you have songs lined up. <laughs> yeah, I have a I have a I have a I have a, a new project coming out in um October. I've been like I said, I've been gone for a while, so um and I know people have been waiting for the follow up to my last album. Um I am not totally done with that yet. But I feel like because I've been this absent, I, I still need to give them something. So I have um an E P coming up. Mm. Yeah. Um the the first single will drop this month. Okay. Yeah, it's it's me and Joey be on there, so people should uh look wow. out for that. Yeah. Okay. T- the E P title? Um Yet to I haven't given, yeah, I haven't given yet. that out yet. <laughs> wow. I mean, uh, Charlie, could you, it's been a great conversation, um, honestly. It has been. And uh, I mean, I'm happy you touching on the fact that the other side, the business is also very important and we all have to jump onto it, you know, and um, position ourselves in influential places so that we can look out for our people first. Uh, because clearly it looks like, um, uh, you know, the, between the fans and the, the creators mm-hmm. is the media. And now yes. I realize that the media has actually done a very big disservice, you know, to the both the consumer because the consumer mm-hmm. picked picked up the media, yeah. and then the you know the the media also didn't support the creators mm-hmm. enough. Uh, we didn't play much. We didn't show much. We yes, have, I was watching a Japanese the, movie. We have also not <laughs> supported you guys enough too. That's that's also. I mean, it goes both ways. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's also. Yeah, I, I feel like in 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 like those three. Those three different sets of mm-hmm. or sets of people that you've mentioned, I feel like that first two, the creators and the media, it, the need a need a stronger bond. Yeah. Yeah. Because I feel like the third guy, he's just a victim of the two. <laughs> of the, the between the two people. You understand? Yeah. Like yeah. I feel like the third guy, if we make it so, all he sees all the time is us. Imagine the, the I mean, imagine the the consumer was just sitting at home waiting for. What to watch? Yes, mm-hmm. and we presented him because of a I'm fight. I'm about to say that yes. we yeah. presented him the, 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 the what to watch guy with something yeah. foreign because I'm fighting with Kojuki, and then I show sometimes the one I show Kojuki's video. Then let me like, show some yeah. Kenny Lamar's video instead. And, and she know. Yeah. Uh-huh. Then we did that. So now, also sometimes so the media was bo- that the consumer was born and was like, okay, you don't tell them I'm confused. Let me go and find a Kenny Lamar myself. Sometimes too is really the scarcity of quality. Yeah. Sometimes too, it's like genuinely, it's a scarcity of quality. Yeah. If the media house or mm-hmm. the media wants to put out something quality and mm-hmm. he's not getting it, he's forced to tap into another mm-hmm. market to bring quality. And then the consumer mm-hmm. sees it and says, you know what? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Many people are Ghanaians who would rather eat, you know, um, fried rice or something, mm-hmm. you know, outside the local meal that go for their local food. Yeah. So it's 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 it's, it's a balance of a, two. A but fine yeah, we'll, we'll find um, a way let me read it. this and then we can wrap up. Our time is up. We have to go as well. Please, if you're on plus, just give me one minute to just read this. This is from Senior Vidoy. I hope I had the name right. Um, it says, listen carefully. I'm telling the real facts, and I'm, this is live on uh, on the show as well. So I'm reading it out to you. It says, listen carefully. I'm telling the real facts. It says Ghanaians are lacking a spirit of music at this moment. Mm. I partly agree with what he's saying. He says that. Um, please, I haven't read through everything. I've read some parts. Mm-hmm. So in case not everything I may agree to, but uh, sorry, it just keeps skipping here. It says, um, 
you can talk and talk and talk there's a time for every music circle to take over if only Ghanaian artists will understand the following we will bring the spirits back again he says one artists should learn that we don't learn <laughs> <laughs> we neglect the good ones as the artist he says music is a spirit and if you can allow yourself to feel it like what Kojo is saying you will know the real gifted people Number three, we need to uh, cherish our own too. We will always compare ourselves, which sometimes is wrong. He says we lack God in our music because we don't think we are doing our own thing. Uh, because we think we are doing our own thing. Like Shata has said now, he's going to pray for the industry. Mm-hmm. Um, and I like the post from Sami Flex. He says that people ridiculed Shata when he said he was going to pray for the industry as part of his uh, December activations mm-hmm. he was going to do. But when Wendy she had the accident, people were saying, oh God, thank God, oh God. <laughs> Are you? Oh, I lost the post there. But anyway, our time is up. We have to go. Kojo, thank you so very much for joining thank us. Thank you for this having morning. me. Yeah, uh, we're looking out for that EP as well. End of month, you say, right? No, no. Uh, End, next month. Yeah. Okay. But the uh, first single end of end of this month. All yeah. right. So we're just going to be following your socials and watching that as well. Thank you so very much. In the meantime, real quickly, money is changing hands. So people, grab yours with star 959 hush on the 590 mobile. You can also win big. Don't forget, I mean, uh, stake responsibly. Not for persons below the ages of 18 because you can win money all day. Today is Monday, so it's Monday special. All right. Mm. Um, also, if you brush your, if you eat, don't forget that food is getting trapped between your teeth. Okay. Mouth, you know, foul breath odor get it gum disease clean all, all that up with uh pestilent cavity fighter it's giving you 10 times stronger teeth brush your teeth morning and evening with pestilent cavity fighter it contains uh pro fluoride and micro calcium ingredients that will help seal those tiny holes in your teeth on that note as well if you want to move from one place to the other download yango key in the promo code three music guess what if you're first time you sell 20 percent off your first two rights and that that's it as well and what if you could win five thousand ghana cities cash prize whilst helping build schools in ghana or win some iphones whilst you're renovating a local hospital well think of mayeko.com m-a-y-e-k-o-o.com jump onto the website right now and see how it works works terms and conditions apply this promo is regulated by the gaming commission of ghana sorry it's regulated by the national lotteries authority i beg your pardon on the caritas lottery platform terms and conditions apply as well betway has got some great stuff ongoing on the website just jump onto the, web- the website right about now and uh, you can get 100% back if you make any losses on there as well. Uh, Betway gets way more. Name is Jay. Thank you so much, all of you, for joining us on the combo. We are back again tomorrow. It's been a great week. See you soon. Thank you.